grown, grown conversation about backing up off of Jonathan Majors and learning how to major in your own life. You know, I'm at my spring resort. Spring is here. Things are blooming. I talked yesterday, when you see this, it'll be yesterday, about having the previous weekend been so very sad to see how we are running each other down, jumping in the way of fights we don't need to be in, and missing opportunity. I have decided to, this weekend, I mean, we've been Jonathan majoring for a month, and I haven't covered him on this channel, because I'm just kind of like, I've been sitting here actually since the end of the Tory Lanez tri trial, actually. And sitting here looking at the amazing amount of energy we are spending on people that are celebrities and thinking to myself, okay, so y'all do know that the state of California doesn't give two dead flies about what we have to say online, right? The state of California has a prison cell to fill and Mr. Tory Lanez is going to be in it. Megan Thee Stallion didn't even come get him. They did. The state of California did. I live in California. My pastor was a parole officer when he was at the meeting when they determined how many prisons they were going to build for now based on how many nine-year-old boys were in, in fourth grade and how well they were doing. California is a little bit different. You think the South is something. The, you, you know, the 13th Amendment says that this re-enslavement of black men in particular can happen anywhere, anyplace, anytime. And if you as a black woman want to act a fool, guess what? You can be turned back into a breeder at any time. From sea to shining sea. But we up here having big old arguments about whether Tory Lane is guilty or ignorant, innocent when none of that was ever in our hands. That's when I first noticed it for the first time. I'm not taking a position either way. For the purposes of this video, I also do not know what Jonathan Majors has done. There's not enough information. But here's what I'm noticing. People are going back and forth on social media acting a complete fool about something that we have maybe three days of information about. And what I observe is that people are reading the, the indication for vindication and then jumping on people that are in the opposite position. Black men are reading it through the lens of history and how white women are always plotting to blame black men down. Black women are reading it through the lens of recent information that where black men's misbehavior and mistreatment of black women is now coming out. And of course, we're speaking in generalities here. This is not all black women and all black men are not concerned with this. I lived a whole weekend with people who do not give two dead flies about all this. But I realize that people are wounded and people do not sure how to move forward to a peaceful and productive and, and, and joyful life. And so we get stuck going around and around and around and around. But I want to ask you a question. I have, I'm not going to take a position on Jonathan Majors. I don't have enough information. I, I don't. He is not every black man who hurt me. And whoever this woman is, she's not every woman who hurt you if you just insist on this being uh just women trying to get men in trouble no she's not every woman that did that to you we don't know who the we don't know these people we tend to be so quick to take people that we do not know and make them the vicarious actors in a drama that's in our going around and around and around in our minds but this is what i have to ask you about it okay let's say that jonathan majors did what he was accused of well, let me back up one more time, because there's two levels of critical thinking that are missing. The obvious level of critical thinking is missing is, do we have enough information to be able to dogma be dogmatic about this based on truth? The answer is no. Tweets from other people talking about Don Jonathan Majors are not evidence. Anybody can say anything about anyone at any time. But let's say he, let's say he did that. Or let's go to the other side. Let's say the woman is making it up. We don't have any evidence either way. I mean, she did recant, but if you follow what the pressure that women go under for reporting things, they face a massive amounts of pressure from a society that wants to have, want, that want, men want to become rich and powerful so they can do whatever they want to do to women. So she's under tremendous pressure. So even though she recanted, she still might be telling the truth, but do we have enough evidence either way? No. And see, people for critical thinking are getting attacked by folks on either side of this argument because what's happening is they're not critically thinking. But there is a second level. 
no matter what Jonathan Majors did and this woman did, is it affecting you being able to actually secure your future? And people will immediately say, well, you know, the image of black men, the image of women, the image of the, no, no, no. Jonathan Majors already has, and the woman that he's with already has access to things that most of us will not see in 10 lifetimes. So what they're doing actually doesn't affect you because even if somehow you lucked up on that, and I've used luck uh, very, very rarely, but I'm using it in a particular thing. If somehow you had an opportunity to get out there, are they helping you develop the skill necessary to be able to make the best use of that? Are they helping you build the capital necessary so that you can move in those kind of environments? Are they helping you prepare the, your children, however talented they may be, to be able to get to that level? If the answer to all three of these things is no, in good, solid African-American vernacular English, what is you doing? You have to learn how to go as hard for your own life and your own future as you go for people who do not know whether you live and will not care if you die. You really need to consider, how do I mirror the attention that I give people? These celebrities don't know who we are, so why are we so caught up in them? Do you have assets sufficient so that ChatGPT or Bard, Google's competitor that's going to be coming on the scene soon, or AI takes your job? Do you have enough assets to figure out what you're going to do next? Do you know? Have you started building skills that cannot be replaced? Are Jonathan Majors and this woman helping you do any of that? Are you stable mentally, physically, emotionally, economically, and spiritually? If you're caught up in this, answer is already no at least on one of those. I, I hate to be like that. But if you were properly centered in your own life, you would not feel the need to live vicariously through other people, through other people's dramas. Let me tell you something. In the subtext of the great drama of redemption that is taking place in the universe, in the subplot, that belongs to Miss Deanne D. Matthews. I am a leading actress. Not social media, not my friends, not my parents, not my sister. No. Not even the senior citizens that I serve. No. I passed through that stage in my life already. I am the leading actress. I am only responsible to my director, Jesus Christ, on how I carry out the script and the role that I play. That's it. So what am I going to put my time and attention into? I'm going to put my time and attention into take care of, taking care of the stewardship that I have been given of my own life and all things that I have been responsible for. And since these celebrities are outside of that, I don't have energy to put over there. I don't. I didn't know who Jonathan Majors was in February, and I look forward to forgetting who he is in July. By then. I have too many things to grow and build and do in my real life. And in reality, so do you. Let Johnny Majors handle his own life. He's got enough money and access and influence that he should be able to do that. Back up off of him. Take that energy back and major on your own life. We worry so much about the image of black men, the image of black women. And by the way, I should also mention all this arguing back and forth means that black men and black women are not divested from each other because as long as you still feel the need to argue this stuff online, you're not divested. You're still just as tightly tethered as you ever were. The real divestment move is when you stop being bothered. I'm not divested. And I'm more divested than some of y'all. In that, I don't concern myself with being a marionette arguing these issues constantly when there's too much to be built. That's good. I'm not even a divester, but I don't waste my time arguing with black men about anything. My father and I, some, he is pretty much the only man, but I have some friends. We'll go back and forth within respectful limits. That's just part of human discourse, to be able to debate, to discuss ideas that have some emotion attached and some serious matter that people's emotions should be connected to. Sure, but there's only very few men who I even allow the privilege to do that with me. Why? 
Because why should I have an argument with anyone I'm not invested in, who's not invested in me, who's not invested in anything that I'm trying to do? What is the point? There are 15 million black men, counting everybody on this channel, and I don't know how many men are left on the channel. I know we lost some last week. Um, although they may still be here as permanent listeners. Counting all of them, there may be 200. I can't do anything about the other 14 million, 999,800. I'm not invested in them like that. Counting all the men on this channel and all the men I know personally, there may be 200. That's a high number. That's a high number. I'm like, do I know 200 people? I'm responsible, but I'm responsible for about 1,500, counting my channel and counting the senior citizens that I serve in the community that I serve. It's about 1,500 people. There are 50 million black people. Do you think I have time to be worried about 49 million? 998,500 people in addition to that if I'm going to be very powerful and do what I can with the ones I have and to whom I am going to be responsible and to whom I'm going to go hard for do you think that I have time to be worried about Johnny Majors and whoever he may be choosing to sleep with today I don't worry about other people fornicating that's not my business. Even as a Christian, that's not my business. You answer, you'll eventually, you will answer the same person that I do. And you don't, and that person is not me. Whatever it is you choose to do, just like I will. I don't have time to worry about that. Whoever he chooses to swap spit and, and STDs with is his business. It'll catch up with him eventually. It's not my job to be worried about that. Johnny Major is not my father, my husband, or my son. So why? He's not a student. He's not a community worker. I ain't got time. I, you know, I just found out today that he was the last black man in San Francisco, and I didn't even watch that because I know too many black men in San Francisco that I'm doing real work with. Y'all, we have to learn how to major in our own lives and go hard for the people that actually matter. Do you know that Jonathan Majors is, he is a, he exists. He is a real person. But everything we know about him is an invention of media and social media. None of us know him. We don't know who this man is. For all we know, he and the woman may involve may be paid to do something because something else is coming along that we're not supposed to know about. I mean, I don't really engage in conspiracy theories, but I was a professional journalist. I know a little bit about how that sort of thing, how you're kept looking at one thing while all sorts of other things are coming along. There are companies right now who are planning to bring in AI in order to purposely not hire people of color. They, they are being explicit about this. But you probably didn't see that in the news today. But we're going to go back and forth about Johnny Majors. You got to learn how to major on your own life. You got to learn to put that energy into really digging into what do I need to do to secure my future. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, economically. You do not have the time you think you have. No one does. We're not going to be here forever. We're not going to be young enough to do things for ourselves forever. One good case of COVID, which is not gone, one good case of long COVID can demonstrate the point. One good accident can demonstrate the point. One tripping in the street, you know, slipping in the bathtub. You don't have time to waste arguing about people who don't know that you're alive and aren't doing anything for you in the first place. Now, if something had come out of this case for us to really learn about, I would have covered it. But we don't even have enough information right now. We just don't. So if something truly germane that we can discuss comes up, I may discuss Jonathan Majors again. But if not, like I said, I'm hoping that by July I would have forgotten this man even existed. Because he is no one to me. And if you stop and breathe and think for a minute... Unless you know this man personally and he's done something for or to you, he's no one to you as well. And that's okay. It is okay to recognize that all these people put up in front of us are people playing a role. Like my mother used to say when I was small and we used to cry over things that happened in movies, the end.
those actors are laughing all the way to the back. I'm so glad she told me this when I was young. As an empath, it's very, very difficult for me to watch dramas because half of my mind knows it's not real. And the other half of my mind is still getting caught in because the brain does not know any difference between something that's presented in a dramatic way on screen and from real life. So I'm always kind of stuck in knowing that my emotions are being played with needlessly. And because I feel very deeply, it's very difficult for me. So I don't allow... I do not allow my emotions to be played around with unnecessarily by all these different so-called true life dramas that are happening that are put up in front of us. I do my best to actually learn about situations. Like I knew Tory Lanez was gone long before people were ready to give up the argument about it. But like I said, state of California don't play that. If they came to get you, trust and believe. If you're a black man and they come to get you, you're going to fill that jail cell. California and Texas is quiet as kept. Oh, yeah. If, if they come for you, you're going to be in there. I, that was over when it started. I already knew that. I make it my business to find out how things work. I'll give you another example. You notice I haven't talked about former President Trump for a very, very, very long time. Not since grown black folks was on Facebook and I was about 30 pounds heavier than I am today. Why? Because all this going back and forth and pity pat. Trust and believe that if they ever arrest a former president of the United States, by the time they get him, he's gone. But until it happens, there's nothing going on. People are just being let on for ratings. I refuse to be played with. And I would suggest that you adopt this mindset as well. Because energy that you're spending getting involved in celebrity drama is energy that you're not spending leading your own life. It's energy you're not spending vetting the men and women in your life to make sure you don't end up in situations such as the one that presumably Johnny Majors and this woman are in. You don't need to worry about whether Johnny Majors is a sociopath. You need to find out what a sociopath is and make sure to eliminate all such people from your life and get away from them. That's what you actually need to do. You need to stop justifying those behaviors in yourself and other people. And if you happen to have some of these tendencies, you need to get therapy. You need to get saved. You're going you, you're gonna to need the Holy Spirit to help you a whole lot. That's what you need to do. You know, if if you're a black man that, 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 that believes that white women are always going to do this, then you need to kind of look at, okay, talking to your brothers who always think that white women is the greatest thing and that black women are no good. Hey, bro. You, you may be walking into some difficulty. If this is real to you, you might want to bring your brothers up to date in the manosphere about the actual history of white women. And for, and, for white, and for black women who seem to think white men are this and that and the other thing, you know who keeps getting... You need to learn some history as well. And by the way, if you are going to go over there, do you know the things you need to know to be able to move in that society? And are you willing to compromise like that? If you don't, No matter whether you're a black man or a black woman, bigotry makes you a good partner for no one. A bigot is only going to be with a bigot. And when you cross that racial line as a black person and you pair up with a bigot, guess what? You're going to find out real quick whether that's a white man or a white woman. If you get a bigot and you're black, you're going to find out that to that person, you ain't nothing but an in. When the chips go down, you will find out. But that's because you may not have prepared yourself to be with anybody anywhere of any race who is a person who is for humanity. And that's something you need to address in yourself. Those of you that casually can write off millions of your brothers and sisters, you need to address that in yourself. You're not preparing yourself for anything but being stuck in the future with your fellow bigots. And as we sit up here and we look at the way that people are sitting up here arguing Johnny Majors, we do not know this man well enough to project on him everything that we don't like about black men. We do not know this woman well enough to project on her everything that men feel like that has been done wrong by women. We don't know them. But the projecting means you crazy. The problem is up here. If you think that every single person that you ever meet, bigotry is very, very close to a form of insanity. Because you basically think whatever is in your mind is going to be projected on whoever happened to be served up in the drama next. That's a form of insanity indulged in long enough. It will drive you absolutely nuts. Like, for real. Meanwhile, the people who keep putting this drama together 
keep on making money and laughing. Because they know that those of us who are caught up in this kind of thinking are not going to see how they're going to turn up that heat like you cook a frog in a pot. And just turn that heat up and we're not going to even notice it until we're in a situation we don't even know how we got into and have no clue how to get out of. Because when we had an opportunity to use our critical thinking and to recognize we were being distracted, we missed it. And this is how our cultural people ends up here. Here. You got to choose a major on your own life. Got to choose to redirect this energy that you're giving to celebrity arguments and arguing with people online and redirect it to your real life. Please believe me when I tell you that this is coming to the economy, whether you believe there's a recession right now or not. You need to know about all three ways to make this. This one earned income, the blood is about to be in the streets. Businesses, big ones are reorganizing so that you don't know how to deal with them on a business-to-business -business basis, especially as a person who happens to not be white. You're going to get shut out. And this asset building, if you can't do these two, this is not impossible, but you really have to buckle down. You have to learn how to make free chat GPT work for you. You need to be worried, not worried, but you need to be working on how do I get into the crypto space while the price is down. If I need sweat equity, there's someone who has a crypto playlist that you know that can teach you how to get your sweat equity. Now, I'm actually not actually done with that playlist. I've just been asked to do a Bible study and I'm focusing on that content. And I've also expanded onto a new platform called Cast Garden, where I'm doing a podcast about Hive, a vodcast actually about Hive. I'm expanding my footprint and increasing my streams of income here and here. Do you know how to do that? And are you interested in learning? If you were interested in learning, then you need to be listening to channels that will teach you how. All this going back and forth around and around about Johnny Majors is not helping you do anything. The time that you are spending on that, you will never get back. And when we're done with Jonathan Majors, someone else will come along and you will be distracted. And like I said, people who are uh, going here, as you're going through this, you are being moved to a place where you're not going to even know how your life is. You know, it is going to come to a complete end and you will never know how you got you got there because people will be looking at your lack of critical thinking on both levels and thinking, well, we can pretty much run them absolutely off the road and they won't even know how they got off the road and then they will engage in criminal degenerate behavior and we'll be able to clap them in prison, make our 20% dividends and go on about our lives and pay for our retirements of more black people either being in jail or birthing more criminals to be there in the next generation. That's the plan, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Majors and the woman can't save you. Your being right, one way or another, when this comes out, won't save you either. Jesus can, but then you're going to have to actually address the sin in your own life and stop worrying about everybody else. And living vicariously through arguing about celebrities is not it. Everybody's entitled to their opinion about this. And I, like I said, I don't have enough information to have an opinion right now. But don't get lost out there. You got to learn how to major in your own life. Go hard for yourself the way you're going hard for either a man you don't know or a woman you don't know. Go hard for yourself. You are the leading actress in the subplot of the human race called the life called what fill in your name. You got to learn how to go hard and put energy into that. You got to learn how to go hard and put energy into changing your life in the way that you think you can vicariously change what's going on with Jonathan Majors and this woman. For real. For real. Now, if you go over to Black Women Making Money, she has a chart that shows how money has been made in cycles for the entire 20th century and into the 21st and what those projections mean. You're at a low point 
that's going to go back up to a short peak, come back down and go up to a big peak in the 2030s right now. So you have time to make some things happen right now. It's a good place to be, believe it or not. But if you don't have the things in place to be able to survive the low time, it doesn't matter. All this going around on social media is not helping you build capacity for your life. Please redirect that energy and build capacity for your life. You are real to yourself, at least. Treat yourself like you are real and like your life matters and that you can affect change. Take that energy for things you cannot change because we're not part of the legal system where Mr. Majors is. And redirect that to right where you are. And watch the spring bloom and blossom for you and bring forth fruit in the summer and the fall. I got to go now and major on some things I need to get ready. Y'all have a good day now. Again, I want to see us do better. I'm not here to just be rebuking us just to be doing it. I have to refocus and remind myself as well. I can get carried away on these conversations just like everybody else. And I have to be accountable to myself to not do that. And then when I have my own life together, then I have a position to be able to help somebody else. Have a good day. It's going to be raining tremendously. We probably will not have an outside view, but uh, I will not be discussing Jonathan Majors again unless there is a major um, update. But we'll see what happens in the world and what we might come back and talk about. I do want us to get better. That's the purpose of this channel, to have a safe place where we can get information to bloom and blossom. And where we can step back from being caught up on things that are taking energy from us that we really do need to use on ourselves. All right, that's my second Baptist close. There will not be a third. I am not my father, a Baptist preacher. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening.